My husband and I are complete opposites in a lot of things, and nowhere else is this more evident than our approach to our daily outfit. My husband takes pride in the fact that he pretty much has two outfits. He calls them outfit A and outfit B. He works from home and does laundry every day and just goes back and forth between these two outfits. I, on the other hand, let's just say I have outfits A and B and C. I mean, I pretty much want the whole alphabet at my disposal. I put a lot of thought and care into deciding what outfit to wear. Who am I gonna see that day? What meetings do I have? What coordinates with what? I mean, there's a lot of decisions to be made for my daily outfit. In addition to deciding my outfit of the day, there are a lot more decisions that I make throughout a typical day. But I've realized in my life that not all decisions carry the same weight. Some decisions impact only a day, but other decisions can impact a month, a year, and some decisions can even impact a lifetime. That's a lot of pressure for one single decision. Sometimes it seems like maybe I need to do more research and gather more information before making a major decision. Or maybe if I have strong enough intentions, I'll just power my way through and end up at my desired destination. But if this were true, then with enough information and strong enough intentions, everything in my life would eventually be absolutely perfect with zero flaws. But I know that's not how life really works. So how should I navigate these decisions? And how should I make sure I'm making decisions that will lead me to where I wanna go? In Proverbs 3, verses five through six, the author writes, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. If you and I can put our trust in the Lord and acknowledge his ways and his wisdom, scripture says that he will make our paths straight. It doesn't say he will make our paths easier or perfect, I believe our paths will become a little more clear as we trust in the Lord. So, when we encounter major decision points in our lives, especially around areas involving money, family, career, and community involvement, chances are the perfect decision will not present itself with 100% clarity. So instead of relying on more information or better intentions or our own understanding, I hope and pray that we start with submission to God and His ways.